Hey, what's happening, guys? Mike Mo here. So I did a video about removing Symantec Solid 4 from Mac OS. A lot more people use the PC version. I thought I'd create a version for PC users. So a lot of times when you buy a com completely new computer or laptop, they will add a lot of things known as bloatware. You might consider Symantec bloatware. A lot of people do. And there, that might be the reason why you want to install it. Regardless of the reason, this is how it's done. So the normal way you're supposed to do this is that you need to go ahead and you know just go down to the start and then you can just go to the programs you can type in prog and i'll just choose up add remove programs there's a, there's other shortcuts in there but that's just typically what i like to do and basically i can go down and look for norton or symantec so what i'm going to go ahead and do is look for symantec right here now i might need to uh, reboot the computer a couple times after running the, the tool because it actually needs to do that in order to do a complete removal. Um, I think my screen sharing software might be slowing this down, so it takes a little while to go ahead and, um, and, and show up. Okay, so I got Norton Security here. I can go ahead and uninstall that. And that will go ahead and run Symantec uh, software to, um, to remove. So after doing this, uh, I will run the Norton tool. And I'll have links down below on that. So it says my Norton uninstaller. By the way, this is May 2019. So um, if you are seeing this, it's probably, uh, hope, well, it's probably later than May 2019. So things might have changed a little bit. So before they do, they want to try to sell you on some things uh, to take advantage of their special offers. And, um, you know, if, if you were on the trial and... Uh, actually like the Norton product, you can go ahead and view the offer and it'll just basically open up a screen or web page to let you know just roughly how much it was going to be. Now for me, I think um, I was using this as, an, as a trial only. So they are um, offering some sort of renewal plan on here. As you can see, it's $29.99 uh, for one year uh, for up to 10 devices which is actually a pretty good deal if you really like the Norton product. But for the purposes of this video, I am definitely just going to uninstall. So I'm going to jump right back in there and do what I had to do there. Uh, I'm going to go and click cancel that. And I'm going to go back and click the uninstall button again. All right. So $29.99 for 10 devices, that is not a bad deal. And, you know, that's actually one of the best ways to get some of the, uh, uh, the, be the best deals available for... Um, for Norton Security, as far as I've seen. Okay, so you have two preferences here. Uh, if you plan to reinstall, it'll keep your settings. If you want to uninstall or remove all user data, and you know, you, let's say you're switching to another antivirus security, anti-malware solution, you'll probably want to remove everything. There's there's no need to have any of this stuff right here. So um, there was an, a password manager that I did not use. And it's to let you know that if you add any password manager data, that is stored online. If you want to go to remove that, you're going to have to want to review the support article. At this point, I'd suggest you click on that section over there. Or you can look for it. Maybe I'll provide a link down below. Uh, this is you want to remove everything. Okay, so I am going to go remove all this stuff. See, I'm not going to get layer protection on any of this stuff. I'm just going to have it remove everything. Uh, tell us why. No, I'm not going to tell you why. You can if you want to provide some feedback. So hopefully Norton can improve their products. Um, again, I'm just uninstalling this because I was trying it out and now I'm ready to go ahead and try a different uh, software. So, you know, I, I try a lot of um, other pieces of security softwares uh, throughout the years. Some of them have their pros and their cons. Uh, Norton, I think, is not too bad nowadays um, in 2019. Um, I have to say there have been a couple of years where I'm like, you know, stay away from Symantec, stay away from Norton. They're not doing a great job, and they really, really slow down your system. They've gotten a lot better over the years. Uh, the one that I like to use uh, fairly consistently is uh, the one by Malware. Uh, malware uh, Bytes. Malware, let's see. Malware, ah, malware bytes. Okay, so it looks like that icon looks like that. I'll have a link down below for that. Um, I, I like to use that for uh, malware protection. All right, so it looks like I got to restart my computer system, which um, I will go ahead and do. Uh, and we'll, we'll go ahead and continue uh, this video with actually running the Norton tool to completely clear um, everything out. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording right now and continue after I reboot. All right, so uh, I just rebooted, 
and supposedly it had already uninstalled the items from Norton. I usually, again, uh, don't stop there and I go to this site over here and I'll have a link down below. It's directly off of support.norton.com. I'll have a link down in my video description and I suggest often downloading the Norton remove and reinstall tool. There's two different versions of this, typically one for PC, one for Mac. Uh, obviously, I downloaded the one for PC and um, I'm just going to have it right here in the download section over here. So I'm going to go ahead and run that and let's just show you what it is uh, that it's like. And as you can see, there's a whole user agreement. You got no other choice but to agree. There are some advanced options. And uh, to let you know, uh, if you want to do the remove only for advanced user technicians perform want to perform troubleshooting tasks, most users will have basic results by clicking cancel, then clicking remove and reinstall. So I'm going to go ahead and remove only because this is exactly what I want to do. Now you might want you might have bought a new PC and this is exactly what you want to do as well. You want to completely remove it, wipe it clean, and use the one that you like to use. All right. So uh, remove only. Once you remove your Norton product, your computer will not be protected until you reinstall security software. Are you sure you want to uninstall? Yes. So just go and click on remove. Let it let it run its thing. Uh, hopefully this will remove all residuals that the regular uninstall uh, left behind. And usually you have residuals left behind. Some of them are, are harmless. Some of them are not quite so harmless. And the ones that are not so harmless sometimes um, is a result of not reading uh, the prompts uh, carefully. Okay, so luckily this one, this one seemed pretty clear. I didn't read the user agreement out loud to you because there's really no other choice. And so that should do the complete um, uninstall. So by doing that, I should not have any other Norton internet security things from my list here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick search over here and um, see what it is uh, that I might still have in here. See, I got a lot of software installed on this laptop. And looks like I still have 24 KB of the Norton Studio. Um, this was from November 27, 2018. And if that's still left, you know, obviously I'll go ahead and remove that. But the uninstaller should have taken care of that. Once we reboot, this should all be completely gone. If you're really paranoid about this, you can go into the registry editor. I've never really had to go that far into um, removing anything that could potentially harm the system. But if you want to make it really, really clean, you know, that's another thing you can go and do. And that's outside the scope of this video. I just want to show you how um, how to remove Norton uh, completely from your system, whether it's a completely clean system or not. Okay, so um, I, all, all that's left is to uninstall, uh, I'm sorry, reboot. And um, that should just about do it. Uh, there's actually a video on here on using it as well, which I didn't notice before. So it's great that, they, that they've added this. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Let me know what's up. And please give this video a like. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.